Hello friends, welcome to my channel Vacway Media. This is Polomi. And if you want to know how I created this beautiful Canva digital art, then make sure you watch this tutorial till the end. And having been said that, let's head over to my computer and see how to create a beautiful digital art like this in Canva. So we will be creating this beautiful uh, image today. Uh, and uh, just to uh, give you a brief that in this image the most difficult part is this one you see the box this part okay once you get it right this this part the rest everything uh, is going to be extremely easy for you so this is uh, let me show you uh, once be very vigilant okay first take one new uh, page make it white rather the background i should be making it yellow now i will take a text i will go and try type something like suppose fish in tank this is what i'm going to type make it big enough right and for these sort of design try to maintain left alignment and from line spacing make it little closer and then make it large now i need to i need to go for a thick font right so i prefer to go for uh, this one either otherwise avatar either of these fonts work truly well right at this moment i will keep avatar only okay and i will keep position it here now i will go to elements take a shape here I will write shape, type shape, take this shape and I will make it large enough to cover this part. Copy, paste and bring it this side. Again copy, paste. Okay make it small and then control D duplicate it and bring it here now press shift and select all these four and make it white okay now these font color I will make it white okay now why do did i do this because at this moment i am uh, why i had to bring these blocks you should be understanding uh, if i don't bring these blocks then i actually want this part to be one image so that i can transparent it from the back and i can add this another uh, picture in a while you will understand this but that is the main motto why i have taken these four blocks here so whenever you need to download some um, some text image or some image uh, and then you need to make a transparent background then this is the way to do that now i will just go to download i will make it png from here i will select only page 2 and then download it now once downloaded i will go to another page I will make the color uh, maybe gray and then drag this and drop it here straight away. Now this has come. Now what I need to do it be very uh, vigilant about this step. Okay, keep it selected and go to edit image option and this BG remover this is going to come handy here but this option is only available for Canva Pro version. So if you want to just try it out then you can use my affiliate link which we, i'll be attaching in the description box below where i'll be getting 30 days uh, free trial option if you uh, like then you can make the payment so this is background remover i'll do it it will take a while to remove the background once it is removed you before applying it you need to remove these white parts as well right so go to eraser, make the eraser smaller 
make it bigger so that it is visible to you make these white white things which are left in the middle of this text remove this completely uh, restore this part wherever you think you have de deleted extra there you can restore so this is how you should be um, cleaning or uh, the extra uh, whatever will be left over it might so happen that there's some some glitches will remain so this is how you will do now so I we are halfway through so far, if you have liked my tutorial and have got a little bit value, in that case, I would request you to give me a big thumbs up and do press the subscription button below because to be very frank, your subscription, your likes and your comments are the only and sole motivation for me to thrive with my channel, explore my other Canva tutorials in the Canva playlist, which you'll be getting at the top right hand side of this video in the i button. So. Uh, don't forget to explore my complete Canva tutorial in the i button. For the time being, let's head over to my screen once again and see the rest part of this tutorial. You will do. Now I'll go to elements. Okay, I will make it big. Hmm? I'll make it large. Okay, now I will go and search for water. Okay, so I will choose this one, this color. Okay, now press control and bring it on top of this and make it large enough. Okay, and go to position or you can right click and send to back, right? And now you will have to adjust this, uh, this part according to your need. Whichever part you think should be good enough for you. I think this part will be good for me. So I'll take this way. Okay. Once done, then same formula. You'll have to go and check the take the shape and make it bigger, no problem, because we are anyway going to conceal the back side. So uh, whatever it needs, you can do it. Okay. Now what you need to do, you might not take this, you just simply control, uh, make uh, like uh, press shift, shift and all these four sides. Copy, here paste, now we'll just have to adjust it. Use the uh, right left arrows from your keyboard. Now I will look for goldfish golden fish from elements and i will choose one beautiful golden fish i will take this one and edit image background remover so now once done make it as small as you want but the problem is as soon as you make it small then it is it will tend to get the background back so you might need to do the same background removal process twice or thrice even uh, because once you get inside this there also is a chance to uh, you know but it hasn't happened luckily so you just need to make it little tilted and you know realistic so that it looks real and then go to position and back okay now you just need to do the same process okay now i need to flip this so i'll go to this flip option and horizontally i will flip because i want uh, my fish uh, as if my fish is moving okay from bottom to up okay so accordingly i will make it then i will control d that will make a duplicate of this again same process four times I have done the same process right now next thing is I need to give a shadow to distinguish um, this fish in tank this this thing then what where do I go uh, why do I do get that uh, you need to select this image edit image 
shadow and glow uh, this option okay as soon as i take this it will give a beautiful side shadow and i need to just adjust it as per my need uh, i can increase the uh, the size or decrease it okay and blur and i will not take black i will take this dark gray and that way it is okay fine now next is i will find the beautiful crack okay so i'm going to take this one so now once this is done i need to go to download once again png select png and only this third page okay select this done download it will take a while to get downloaded then i will go to add page and just drag and drop same thing okay then select this picture and edit image background remover nicely done now side this part i will make it this light blue color now i need to bring this this effect so i will go to elements now i will go to background remover bg remover now i need to take this picture once again and edit image go to background remover okay now i'll take just this fish this fish and i'll make it larger and i will just i need to duplicate this from here right and i will place it here and then duplicate this one i'll have to make very transparent then duplicate this one i just need to make little less transparent and position it here only next again duplicate transparency little more and final 86 and then place it here and or you might if you are happy with it then you just don't need this okay now <clears throat> i need this jar as well so again take the picture edit image background remover now i'll just cut everything away just take this one okay now apply and shadow i will take one side shadow here okay now if i am not satisfied with it offset i can change but i think i should make it 5 at least this one and blur a little more blur angle is okay transparency little more okay so 54 i'm keeping and i'm happy with it apply same way same way i need to do this as well i'll go to drop okay it has given beautiful shadow around it now i'll make the offset little more 4 is okay and transparent 54 or 59 is okay blur little more yes so it is looking for realistic now this this one i need to position it backward 
okay so that it looks realistic if you want you can take this picture once again and just edit image background remover and just take a little bit from here cut everything away just to give it a real feel only one thing is left left what is it this broken glasses so for that all i need to do is here i'll have to type broken glass or shatter glass make it little transparent if you want and then simply keep duplicating unless and until you are getting your desired result this one also position backward every time you press back backward you will see these objects are keeping on coming in front so unless and until you get the desired result now the only last thing is animating because of animation uh, you get this uh, i'll show you let's select this 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 effect right so uh, for this i need to select this one first you can check this one you go to animate fade and then pan and zoom is making more sense and finally this one this one i will i will go to animate and pop right so this one so now finally you see how it is looking so this is how you are going to animate and this is the final um final effect which i wanted to show you so how was it did you enjoy doing this uh, make creating this amazing digital art with canva there are more and more digital arts coming up in uh, my upcoming tutorials so all you need to do is to know the basics of canva you should be going to the top right hand side button i button of this video and uh, get my complete canva playlist there give me a big thumbs up and do share my videos with your friends and family because your likes your comments your shares and subscription are the only motivation for me to carry forward uh, to make such value adding videos for you thank you so very much for staying here with me i'll come back with some stunning fun video tutorial next week till then stay safe stay lengthy